Refrigeration runs through an air conditioning system much like blood does in the human body. And when that blood gets infected, the entire body is in big trouble. Refrigerants specifically are some people refer to as Freon. When that gets chemically changed, when that refrigerant begins to break down, it becomes acidic and that acid eats the compressor and the other components in the air conditioning system from the inside out. Now, when the human body gets an infection in the blood, it can be really, really serious. Same as the HVAC system when that Freon breaks down, it's really serious, but you can prevent it if you can catch it early. Now, when you go to do an HVAC inspection or maintenance, you can catch that refrigerant breaking down and becoming acidic, and you can fix it before it becomes a major problem. There's a couple ways that can be done. One, if you have enough experience, you can smell it. When you put your gauges on, you have that tiny bit of uh, venting when you put the gauges, you can begin to smell that acid. Other ways it can be done, there's acid test kits and things like that. So typically when you find a system that's been compromised or the refrigerant is beginning to break down, you can put products in just like you can medicate the human body if there's infections, you can use antibiotics. Well, for the refrigerant system, there's products that you can put in to kind of remedy that. We did one actually last week that had acid in it. Now, it requires a tool like this. This is a yellow jacket oil scanner injector. I can't read it, it's blurry. Um, anyway, this is an injector and you can use things like this. This is acid away by Rector Seal, right? So the camera wants to make it blurry. What you do with something like this is you open it up, okay? Spin it like a million times to open it. Okay, boom. And you're gonna pour the solution in here. If you're using acid away, which is gonna neutralize that acid. So you're putting it in the refrigerant system. It's going into the refrigerant or Freon and it's neutralizing that acid before complete damage is done, right? So you pour that in here, close it. Okay. What you do is you connect this to your vacuum pump, put another hose with another little cutoff thing here. You cut that off where it goes into the condenser. You're gonna vacuum this entire thing down right? Because you don't want to introduce more air into the system because air and refrigerant actually causes that chemical breakdown. When, when refrigerant or Freon mixes with water or moisture in the air, it becomes acidic. So you don't want to put air in here, right? There's already air in here when you opened it. So put the vacuum pump here, put a gauge or a hose here with a cutoff, you vacuum this whole thing down, get all the air and all the moisture out of that, right? So you vacuum it, then you're going to close this. You're gonna turn off your vacuum pump. Now it's vacuumed from here across the hose to the other hose that has a valve like this. So you cut off your vacuum pump and then you're going to open that and you're, it's gonna suck the solution in. Now, if you wanna push it in with a little bit of 410A or whatever the system has, whatever type of Freon the system has, you can kind of push the rest of it in. If you have a low charge or you're charging it up, something like that. Maybe you can use a couple ounces to push it in. But this is how this works. And this is a great tool to have if you're an HVAC technician. Every real technician should have one of these. You can use it for acid away, all types of different solutions. There's um, Renew, which is when you have TXVs that are stuck. If you ever get a TXV that's stuck closed, it's a brand new unit. Maybe you don't want to change it. Maybe it's good. There may be some gunk. There's a product called Renew. You can pour that in here. You can pour UV dye in here. It's a good tool. I'll put a link down in the description, Amazon, where you can buy it. I know there's a couple new technicians that follow this channel. Go down to the description. You can buy that product there. I, I highly, highly suggest it. If you have any other questions or if you have any questions about your HVAC system or you're an HVAC tech that's learning, just reach out in the comments and let me know. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing.